Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we're going to look at, or revisit should we say, uh, cell and sheet protection. But we're going to look at it on um, sort of getting a bit more customised with this. So how can we, uh, in this example we're going to look at, so we've got a number of grey cells and you can see that well, all of them are grey apart from a select uh, number that have been highlighted yellow. And the scenario we're looking at here today is that this is a workbook we want to share with uh, maybe another individual and we want to lock all of the grey cells but we only want the yellow cells to be editable. So all grey so uh, cells sorry, will be protected so no one can enter any information. They will only be able to enter information into those yellow highlighted cells. So as a re quick recap, uh, by default uh, all cells will be locked. Uh, by that you can check by going right clicking on the cell, going into format cells. And you can see on the last tab there, uh, protection, just select it if it's not selected, you can see there's a tick in the uh, in the box for locked. And that basically means the cell's locked. So when we come out of that and we go into our sheet protection, so again, if yours is not already uh, as mine is in the ribbon, you can see we've got the review tab, then we can go to protect sheet, and we'll be asked to insert uh, a password. So we just need to go one, two, three, four, is the basic password I'm gonna use here. One, two, three, four, and it goes without saying that obviously if you're protecting your workbook, you want to do something a bit more, uh, so we say, complicated than using one, two, three, four, but that'll do for this purpose. So what we're doing next is we then want to obviously just test so we can now see that wherever we click and I try and type, obviously we get this error message which says, no, you can't make a change or put any text there. And that's regardless of wherever we go. So we can do that. And if we go into a yellow one at the moment, again, we can't enter any information. But what we could do if you want to do it manually is all you need to do is unprotect, enter your password. You go to the desired area, you'd want to um, uh, unprotect, should we say. So rather than clicking, you can either click the one cell and do right click, or you can select a range, right click, format cells, untick the protection. And then once we now go back into protect our sheet, our basic little password, one, two, three, four, like so. And then this time, if we click outside that range, we can't enter anything. But if we go within that range, what are these two yellow cells, we can do enter any information into any one of these cells that we wish. So we can see that there. So that's work done as we require. So giving us a funny value there. So just do a little letter that makes it a bit clear so we can see what's going on. So we can see that we're able to enter information into those now unlocked cells. So rather than going one by one for all of these yellow cells to make sure that the protection is taken off, there's a lot quicker way we can do it using find. So what I'm just going to do is once again, unprotect this sheet. Let's go one, two, three, four. Cool, and then we just clear this information out of here. We've got the, the two uh, letter Ds that I've got in there at the moment, because we don't want them in there. And let's just clear the contents of that. And then what I'll do is just make sure everything is uh, ready for number format. So let's just do everything from there downwards. Cool, and we we'll go home, and we'll just give it the general format. Perfect. Then we'll come down. Right, okay, so what we want to do, I say, is everything, let's just check. Let's make sure everything is currently protected. So I'm just going to right click everything, format cells, protection. Ah, and now you can see in that lock box, rather than the tick or being blank, so if it was a tick, it means it's locked. If it was blank, it's not locked. But because we've selected the whole sheet, you can see there's a little uh, dot or square within that box. What that means is in the selected range, there is a combination of locked and unlocked cells. So all we need to do is just tick that to make everything locked. Alternatively, if you wanted to untick it, that would make everything unlocked. But for us, we're gonna start from the position of having everything locked, so we just need that tick in there. So we'll just do okay. Perfect, and then we can come back here. So what we're now gonna do is use find. So to do that, we're gonna just highlight, well, we can just do highlight here again as we were, and we're just gonna do Control and F on the keyboard. And that'll bring us our find and replace box. So if you've seen our previous videos, and we should by now put a link on the screen for you to see, uh, what we, need to, you know, we looked at before is using find to find text or numbers, uh, and obviously either replace or just to locate where their position is. 
Other than using text or numbers, we have an additional option here if we go under options to search based on a cell formatting. And that's exactly what we're going to use to identify these cells. So what we need to do is you'll see these options have now come up. So we just go to the format box here. And once that's popped up, we can then go into the fill option. Obviously, you can play around with various different formats here, but for us, we're just going to use fill. We're going to select the fill so all cells will have got a, a yellow background or yellow fill to be specific with our, uh, our description. And that's all we want to do. And all we're going to, going to let next, once we've done our formatting, if we just come down to here where we've got find all, you could do find next as well. But for this example, we're just going to go to find all and click that. And you can see it's located all of the cell references for our highlighted cells. And just those first top ones, you can see it's got a cell E2, what's where we're currently selected. The next one it's found is in M2. So again, we can see row two, we've also got one for M there. So it's perfectly found everything we're looking for. What we're then going to do is use control A, what will highlight and select all of those cell references. So once we've done control A, you can see it's been highlighted in blue below. We're just then going to hit the uh, red cross here to exit uh, the find and replace window. And then once we've done that, we're then going to use another shortcut. So we're going to use control and the number one. And we'll get open this uh, format cells. And it's, this is just formatting those yellow cells that we've selected. What we then do is just go protection. We'll then take off the uh, locked. So these cells are now not locked. We can then click OK. And then the last thing we need to do just to make sure this has worked correctly is we'll go back to our review tab, back to protect sheet. We'll enter our password again, a very basic password of 1234. And then once we've done that, we'll be asked to do it again. 1234, click OK. And there you go, it's all done. So what will happen now is if we go into any of these gray boxes, we can see when we try and enter a number one, we get no, we're not able to do anything. And even over the right hand side here in the white, we can't do anything. The only ones that we can update are these yellow cells highlighted. So if I go to the first one here in column E and at number one, you can see it's allowing that value. And the other benefit of this, especially when you're entering data, is you don't want to be clicking between each one of these references. Because those gray ones are now locked, when you hit the tab button, uh, Excel will automatically jump to that next uh, yellow cell. So the next one you can edit. So again, it means that all you need to do is do your numbers, hit your tab, and it will go to your next available cell uh, for it to be populated. So you can see there. Cool, so we hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you're notified every time we have a new video that comes out. A couple of links in the description to this video so you can access our Instagram and Facebook uh, social media. If you've got any questions, again, great platforms uh, for getting in touch with us or also very, very good for uh, additional content and notification of when we've got new videos coming up. If you have any questions, alternatively, you can just drop us a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video.